Welcome back. Uh, in this uh, final set of videos, we are going to present four examples uh, on how to create and solve the finite elements model using weighted residual methods. Uh, uh, the first example will be uh, a very simple compound bar with multiple nodes. Uh, the bar, uh, as shown in this figure, uh, is divided into two distinct parts. Uh, the first part is a bit thicker, connecting point D and B. Uh, the other one is connecting D and C. There are two loads, P1 in the negative direction at point D, and uh, the other one is at point C in the positive direction. Uh, we start by setting up uh, the uh, element equation. Uh, here, both elements have different modulus, modulus of elasticity, area, and length. Uh, also, uh, we can see here that uh, uh, we replace P1 by R, which is the reaction at the support B. While we still have P11 and P12, the two parts uh, of P1 uh, used by each of the elements, and as we've seen before in the video about assembling the finite element uh, model, that uh, we will not really uh, think much about what P1 and uh, P11 and P12 are. We will just add them up to uh, get uh, P1 as a whole. Now, assembling uh, both equations, we will get the 3 by 3 matrix. Notice here that we didn't get Ea over L as a common factor because they are different in both elements. But again, we can see at the right hand side, P2 appears, P1 appears with a negative sign because it's in the negative direction, as we've mentioned, and the reaction is there. Now, uh, what is the boundary condition that we have? It's that U1 or UB is equal to zero. So uh, we will uh, get the two uh, equations, the primary set of equation involving UD and UC, uh, and removing UB because it's equal to zero, and removing also the first equation, considering it what we called before the auxiliary equation, which will be uh, used to find the value of the reaction force. Uh, to solve the primary set of equations, we will just in, uh, invert uh, this matrix and multiply it by the right-hand side, which will result in a value of UD and UC. Using those two values into the auxiliary uh, equation, we will get the reaction R equals P1 minus P2. Of course, if you are introduced before to uh, mechanics of material or even just uh, uh, statics, a statics course in mechanics, you uh, will know that the equilibrium uh, for, uh, uh, states that R has to be equal to P1 minus P2, and in that case, uh, R is in the positive direction in uh, the positive X direction. Uh, uh, these Actually, is, uh, this is all what we can know here about the equations, uh, about what's going on in the bar. We can use further, uh, but in, not in this example, we can use UC and UD to find the stress and the strain in each of the elements we have here. In the next video, we will uh, present uh, another example of a bar under its own weight.